Hey to everybody, welcome to Kaya today again sa our daily breath at Pasa Birth. And before we begin our devotion for the day, let us pray. Dear Father in Heaven, we want to thank you for blessing us today. Thank you for keeping us alive together with the family. Thank you for healing all those sick people who are suffering from COVID-19 from mild to critical cases. Heal them in Jesus' name and also heal all those sickness, yeah, heart ailment, liver ailment, uh, bones and brain problems. Heal them in Jesus' name. And so trust you that you will bless all those sickness and heal all those sick people. And also bless the couples who are praying for their uh, uh, a child, a baby. Bless them with a baby or a, ba a child, boy or girl. Bless them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sa lahat po muli is araw-araw para sa our daily breath. And our talk, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, the word of uh, Apostle Paul no, from the Lord. In Colossians 2, verse 6 to 7. So then, just as you receive Christ, this of the Lord, continue to live in Him, rooted and built um, in Him, strengthened in the faith, as you were taught and overflowing with thankfulness. Colossians 2, verse 6 to 7. Amazingly, the Christian life continues the same way it begins. Pananampalatayas, Panon sa Cristo. Our entire lives will be uh, really uh, victorious and successful if we leave out of our union with Christ, with Jesus. Sa mga talatang ito, tayo po ay tinuturuan ng Panginoon Diyos through Apostle Paul ng mga bagay-bagay patungkol sa ating patuloy o pagpatuloy sa mamuhay sa Panginoon sa Kristo. Una po, the word of the Lord is sharing us rooted and built up in Christ. First, we are to be rooted and built up with the Lord Jesus. Imaginin mo ang isang puno na matibay, bagyuhin man siya, ulanin, no? at anuman mangyari, o snowman, o magtagtuyot, nagtatagumpay po siya. Dahil napakalalim ng kanyang ugat. The most important part of the tree remains underground. King David, uh, like the person, also delights in God. And it flourishes the relationship with, with God and his gratifi gratifications in his word. You know? Just like some one tree, remember? The person is like a tree planted by streams of water which yields its fruit in season. And those whose leaves does not wither, whatever they do prosper. Some one tree. So, ganun din po tayo. No? Kailangan yung ating ugat ay build on the Lord Jesus. And yun yung pundasyon ng ating paglago. As the believers, kailangan po natin maintindihan no? na kailangan natin ang ugat natin nasa, nakasandig sa Panginoong Sokristo. Ano mang bagyo ng buhay, ano mang pagsubok, hindi po tayo magigiba. Hindi tayo mapubunot, hindi matitinan. And establish our faith. Being rooted in Jesus Christ is the first step of continuing in Christ the same way as we we began. No, Pagkatay nagsimula po, no? At uh, pangalawa po natin, nais nice, i-share ngayon yung tumitiba yung ating pananampalataya. Nagsimula po yung ating paglalakbay sa buhay pananampalataya, sa pananampalataya sa Panunso Kristo. Now, as we continue our entire lives, by becoming increasingly more confirmed and established in our faith. Uh, parang yung faith natin ay like muscle. No? Uh, the more na exercise, the more na parang nasa gym po tayo, the more ito lalakas. In shape and ready to withstand anything and everything. No? Uh, kagaya po ng puno na malalim maugat. Ang pananampalataya po natin ay like uh, trunk ng isang puno na tumataas at uh, tumitibay at, uh, sa, sa panahon, no? sa paglakan ng panahon, maraming taon. Mga kaibigan, kailangan po nating tumibay. And trunk is the visible result of death of the root system. No? Kapag malalim mo ugat, tumitibay, lumalaki ang mga sanga, ang katawan din ito. And the more malalim mo ugat, mas malaki ang katawan ng puno. So, na mas malalim mo ugat natin sa mga itang Panginoon sa Kristo, mas malago, mas mabungo ang ating padalampalataya. And last thing, we must, we must have this overflowing, our lives must have overflowing with thankfulness. We are to be abound and overflow with thanksgiving and attitude and gratitude with Christ, with the Lord. The attitude of gratitude. Tandaan po natin, we need to uh, be thankful in everything. Christ, Christian life without thanksgiving and gratitude severely damaged the health of a believer. So we need to have that great full heart every time forever grateful a life that overflows with gratitude shows maturity 
kahit maliit na bagay, kahit konting bagay na pagpapasalamat natin kasi alam natin lahat yung galing sa ating Panginoon Diyos na hindi po tayo matitinag na ano mga bagay. Thanksgiving abounds in our heart. This is a beautiful picture of our dream life. Rooted, secure, strong, able with maturity, kompleto, at patuloy nagbibigay lawalhati sa Panginoong Sokristo. Dahil na-receive natin ang Panginoong Sokristo, ang kaligtasan, patuloy tayo namumuhay sa Kanyang pangalan. Ano mang panahon, ano mang pagkakataon, mahirap na kalagayan, we live for Christ. For to live is Christ and to die is again. Sabi na Apostle Paul, And no matter what happened, we will continue. We will never stop praising and glorifying His name, serving His name, sharing the gospel to the lost. Ano mang hirap ng buhay, ang ating ugat ay na, nakapundasyon kay Panginoon So Kristo, matibay, mamumuha ang ating buhay, ang ating spiritual life, at tayo po ay mamumuhay na may pagpapasalamat na puso sa pangan ng Panginoon So Salamat po sa inyong panonood sa Our Daily Breath for today. Ito po si Pastor Burst. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we want to thank you for our devotion, our daily breath for every day for today. Thank you for reminding us that we need to be rooted. No? Ang aming ugat ay malalim sa pamagitan ng aming Panginoon sa Kristo. Kayo po ay lumalago ang spiritual life namin ay namumunga at kami tumitibay sa aming pananampalataya at nagiging mapagpasalamat po kami sa bawat saglit ng aming buhay araw-araw. Salamat sa iyong kaputihan. Ito nga minda lang sa Panginoon Jesus. Amen. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. Hindi lagi po kayo mag-iingat. Take care and see you po kayo sa mga worship natin online at sa mga soon face-to-face worship services po natin. In His time, in His will. Let His will be done. Thank you. Take care. Peace. Shalom. Salamat. Ingat.